James Jones bringing back Tory Craig, a crucial role player in the Valley's run through the Western Conference last year, makes the 2022 Suns wing depth that much more powerful. Devin Booker's efficient 28-point-per-game averages in the month of February, plus DeAndre Ayton's top-of-the-league rebounding and field goal percentage, make this CP3-led bunch a force to be reckoned with, so we're going to take a deep dive into why the Phoenix Suns' firepower is dangerously eye-popping. Right quick, only 12.1% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hoops, and I'll follow you back. Link is in the description for those two platforms. Phoenix trading the 10th overall pick from 2020's NBA draft in Jalen Smith had to be a tough call, considering the 6 foot 10, 215 pound product out of Maryland has a chance to slowly develop into a top tier caliber big man. Coincidentally, Jalen was on the thumbnail of the last Phoenix Suns video I posted prior to this one, and I broke down his impact. Having said that, GM and former champion as a player with the Miami Heat, James Jones, knew that with a soon to be 37 year old Chris Paul at the head of the snake, he had to take any risk to try and win right now. And now, next to Mikael Bridges, Jay Crowder, and Cameron Johnson, reacquiring the grizzled five year pro in Torrey Craig, makes the Suns 2022 depth on the wing that much more lethal than it already was. The full details on the Suns deadline trade sent a second round pick along with the 21 year old Smith to the Pacers in exchange for Craig. According to a Pacers journalist, the Suns pulled the trigger on this deal because of both the fact that Jalen Smith's agent wanted him in a situation where he had more opportunity and for the Suns, apparently Chris Paul made it a point of emphasis to management to get his old teammate back. When taking into account how valuable Torrey was for Phoenix in their run through the West last year, it's easy to see why CPGM requested the Suns to go after him. Before signing with the Pacers in the 2021 offseason, Craig played in all 22 of Phoenix's playoff games last year, and while he only received an average of 10 minutes in each series, Man was a fundamental stopper on the wing. In a hard-fought six-game battle with the kawhi less yet feisty LA Clippers, it was how Torrey kept Paul George under wraps, locking PG-13 down the entire series, which helped the Valley fend off LAC and advance to the championship series. Craig also saw time on LeBron James and Giannis Dettacumpo throughout that special postseason run for fans in Arizona. Now in his second tenure in Phoenix Threads, Torrey's giving Suns fans an intriguing reminder of his added value. Showing off his timing in the passing lanes and elite hands, right here with five players in his vicinity, Craig recovers the loose ball in traffic, doesn't waste a second in pushing the ball up the floor with his solid ball handling for a forward, before dropping a no-look bouncer to his headband brother D. Book, displaying more of the chemistry that he has with his son's teammates. Directly after catching the pass from Alfred Payton on the right wing, Craig instantly drops his second no-look dime of the half, finding Dre Crowder for a wide-open triple. In his first game with the 2021-22 Suns, Torrey displayed his ability to take it coast to coast off the dribble in transition. He was making slick backdoor cuts in the half court. He made two spot up triples and driving dishes like this one to Bismack Biombo give you a glimpse of Craig's added playmaking. Craig was brilliant a year ago as one of the four interchangeable wings sharing the two forward spots. Monty Williams required his three slash four men to switch everything defensively and simultaneously provide offensive juice. Craig spoke on that after his season debut in a Suns uni, saying, I think that's what makes us so special. That's what makes this team so difficult to guard. Different guys can play different positions offensively, defensively guard a lot of positions and switch. That creates a lot of advantages for us on both sides of the ball. Having a lot of wing guys is definitely a weapon, and it's definitely a value to have in this league, end quote. Speaking on his return to Phoenix, Torrey said, quote, yeah, man, it's crazy. It literally feels like the same way it did last season, just coming in and fitting right in with the guys, but I guess it's that easy, and you have a bunch of guys who play together and play to a certain standard. It's easy to fit in with those guys. Craig's impact was also touched on by Monty Williams. His ability to defend multiple positions is something we feel like will help us. I thought there were times that Terrence Ross and Gary Harris had opportunities to come off screens and he just bulldogged those guys and made it really tough on them because of his size and strength and defensive acumen. He can make it tough on a number of positions. 
In his debut back in Phoenix, Craig was stellar. He notched 14 points on 6 of 8 shooting, making 2 of his 3 triples, while racking up 4 dimes, 3 boards, and 2 steals in just 23 minutes. It was actually the most productive all-around outing of his son's tenure over the past two seasons, not counting a pair of late-season blowouts in 2021. Also acquired by Phoenix on Tuesday and playing in his first game as a member of the Suns, Aaron Holiday, the brother of Drew Holiday and also Justin Holiday, tallied 10 points on 4 of 5 shooting, going 2 of 3 from distance. One of the fans in the chat on Solar Panels SB Nation compared Holiday to Javon Carter. They wear the same number, which is 4. They have similar builds. They're 6 feet. They can make threes at an above average clip, 37%, and profile more as an undersized shooting guard than a point guard. Having said that, Holiday has a bit more finishing in his bag than Carter, though. He scores better inside the three-point line and finishes well at the rim. He also passes better than JC, but he's not quite as good as a one-on-one -on -one defender. Regardless of what Aaron brings individually, his acquisition provides internal competition between he and the other Phoenix guards. The acquisition of Holiday might have lit a fire under Alfred Payton, who made a season-high two threes and nearly recorded his 18th career triple-double on Saturday night, tallying 10 points, a season-high 9 assists, and a season-high 7 rebounds in the blowout W over Orlando. Since Cameron Payne's injury, Chris Paul's logging 37-plus minutes per game, so Holiday's addition should bring that number down for the aging CP3. Of course, CP3 deserves a boatload of the credit for the Suns being 46-10, with a four-game lead over the Warriors, having the best net rating, the second-best offense, and the fourth-best defense in the association. The reigning West champs were missing two of their top players in Aiton and Booker for decently long stretches, but having been back for a big chunk of time now, the most talented young guard-big-man tandem are establishing their playoff flow. Everyone learned last summer how lethal the combination of Booker's shot creation and Aiton's ability to keep possessions alive down low are, but having the experience of a deep playoff run under their belt, the Suns' two young phenoms are ready to take the franchise to new heights in the upcoming spring. What's your early prediction for the 2022 Suns? Best answer in the comments down below gets next video shoutout. Top 5 commenters with the most shoutouts by March 21st receive NBA merchandise of their choosing for free this spring. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winners are Irvin Alexar Guerra from my Warriors video and Trickshot It from my 10 Duos video. Pause to read every amazing take from the Speaks winners. Appreciate every answer. I hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.